What's up everybody, welcome back to the Guitar Wad. Super short, super effective guitar workouts to make sure you never stop improving. After today's workout, you will be better at guitar in these two ways. Yesterday's workout covered the first of the three basic left hand techniques, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides. Well today we're going to cover the second, pull-offs. For anyone not familiar with pull-offs, here's an example. There are two steps to playing a pull-off. First, play any note that isn't an open string. For our example, we'll use the fifth fret of the high E string. Step two, while that note is still ringing, use the finger that is fretting that note to pull the string down slightly and let it flick off of your finger to a note behind it, either fretted or open, like so. Step one, step two. Step one, step two. Here's a quick tip for any of you who can't quite get the feel of what a proper pull-off should feel like. Finger the third and fifth frets of the high E string at the same time, so hold both of them down. Now, without picking the note or doing anything with your right hand, I'll hold it over here so you can see it. Try to play the third fret, this note, the note your index finger is holding, by flicking the string down toward the floor with your ring finger, like this. So you're trying to play this note without picking it by flicking off of your ring finger. Mess around with this until you hear that note loud and clear. Once you've got a feel for how to do a proper pull-off, the only thing left to do is build up the left hand strength and skill. Similar to yesterday's hammer-on marathon, today's workout is a pull-off marathon. And like yesterday's workout, you'll probably find your hands tensing or cramping up toward the end. I personally found this exercise to be just about impossible to finish if I didn't intentionally make sure I wasn't tensing up or trying to force my way through it. That makes this a great exercise to train yourself to stay loose and relaxed even while playing challenging material, which is vital to playing well. Let's check it out. Here's today's exercise demonstrated at a fast tempo, 90 beats per minute. Alright, let's break that down. Notice how much slower I had to play this exercise than the hammer on one from yesterday. This thing is brutal. Take your time with it and only slowly build up speed. Here it is, demonstrated at a slow tempo, 60 beats per minute. Now make sure when you're playing through this exercise that you give each note its full time, whether it's picked or a pull off. Other than that, just remember to stay loose, relaxed, and keep breathing when you get to the tough parts. Like always guys, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, or just some topics that you'd like to have covered in future workouts, let me know in the comments below this video or by emailing me directly at theguitarwad at gmail.com.